Pastor Mark Finley talks about the biblical view of homosexuality. Adventist Hospital in Malawi produces its own oxygen. Heroes, the Bible trivia game, reaches 800,000 downloads. Over 2,600 attend International Pathfinder Camporee in Hungary. These and other news of hope are coming up here on ANN. How do we navigate the complexities of faith, sexuality, and gender identity with the Bible? In the sermon, Love, Compassion, and Truth, A Biblical View on Homosexuality, Pastor Mark Finley invites you to find answers through seven crucial insights drawn directly from the Bible. Finley, assistant to the president of the Adventist General Conference headquarters, begins the presentation by explaining his motivation to talk about the issue. Why have I chosen to speak about this subject now. There are some specific reasons for that. First, I'm concerned. Concerned about the direction that our society is going in. Concerned about how that direction impacts the church I love. I'm concerned about the next generation. I'm concerned about young adults who are imbibing a message that may not align and does not align with Scripture. I'm concerned about children whose minds are being saturated with information regarding LGBTQ plus community. You see, I, I'm concerned, and so it's out of that concern, out of that care, out of that love that I speak today. Now, there are certain things that have led me to this conclusion, that it's time to speak now. Let me give you some examples of that. Here are just a few recent incidents that have, have motivated me to address this issue of human sexuality. First, on July 3, 2023, the New York Post reported that at the recent New York Drag Queens March, activists chanted, and hear their words, we're here, we're queer, and we're coming for your children. This seemed outrageous to me. It's shocking, but it's not surprising. In recent years, such blunt, outrageous rhetoric has become commonplace. Two years ago, the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus released a YouTube video in which 81 of its members sing a song with the refrain, we'll convert your children happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, you'll barely notice it. Finley highlights other similar cases and concerns related to the subject. He references texts that demonstrate that heredity and carnal tendencies do not define the destiny of a human being. It means you're set apart for God. You are sanctified. You are justified in the name of Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Here is the incredible good news, whatever tendencies we have inherited or cultivated because of the brokenness of our lives, whoever we are, straight or gay, whoever we are, the grace of Christ can transform us. Ellen White makes a marvelous statement in the book Ministry of Healing on this very point. Ministry of Healing, page 175, 176. Those who put their trust in Christ. Where do they put their trust? Where's their trust? In Christ. Are not to be enslaved by any hereditary or cultivated habit or tendency. Instead of being held in bondage to the lower nature, they are to rule every appetite and passion. God has not left us to battle with evil in our own finite strength. Whatever may be our inherited or cultivated tendencies to wrong, we can overcome through the power that he is ready to impart. Now notice that statement. What hope? There is no passion, whether it's inherited or cultivated, that Jesus Christ cannot give us strength to overcome. Whatever may be our inherited or cultivated tendencies to wrong, we can overcome through the power that he's ready to impart. To watch the full video, visit the official page of the Seventh-day Adventist Church on YouTube. Navigate to the video section and search for Love, Compassion, and Truth, a biblical view on homosexuality. 
Blantyre Adventist Hospital in Malawi is now producing its own oxygen after the hardships that came about because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The hospital is now saving over $35,000 per month. Noel Sabanda gives us the story. This is Malawi, the warm heart of Africa, the land full of many possibilities. Talking about possibilities, whoever thought that Blantai Adventist Hospital could have their own oxygen? Well, with God, all things are possible for those who believe. Talking about health, the Southern Africa Indian Ocean Division President Dr. Harrington Akumba then visited the Blantai Adventist Hospital, where he conducted the devotion for the Blantai Adventist Hospital staff. Blantai Adventist Hospital is well respected in Malawi in terms of health, and it has seen so many high government and business people treated, a sign that the church is doing a great job indeed in the health services. Shortly after the morning devotion, the CEO for Blantyre Adventist Hospital, Mr. Kebi Kasinja, then narrated the history of Blantyre Adventist Hospital, which has become a household name in the medical health corridors in Malawi. The hospital boasts of high qualified staff and equipment, which make it one of the preferred medical institutions in Blantyre. The leaders were then taken around the entire Blanta Adventist Hospital premises, which has seen big names in government being assisted in terms of health. An exciting development at Blanta Adventist Hospital is their new oxygen plant, which was established during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2021. The hospital has state-of-the-art equipment, and they produce their own oxygen, thereby saving over 35,000 US dollars every month. This oxygen plant is housed on the same block with the hospital and very convenient for the patients. From the oxygen plant, the leaders were then taken on a tour around the Blantai Dental Clinic. The division president, Dr. Harrington Simuya Kumbwa, was so impressed by the high-class dental clinic facilities, which is not just top dentist, but is also the best dental equipment in the country, with professional missionary dentists from Philippines. The division president, Dr. Akomba, and the Blantyre Adventist Hospital CEO, Mr. K. B. Kasinja, believes that these facilities and the state-of-the-art equipment is not far from other international Adventist hospitals around the world. For many years, I have heard about Blantyre Adventist Hospital, but I think what I heard was nothing compared to what is really on the ground. I've even written in the uh, guest book that we have here an institution that is poised to become a center of excellence, not only here in Malawi, but in SID and the continent of Africa. Dr. Adrena Gurano believes that the services being offered by the Blantyre Adventist Hospital to the community are of the high class as they save the entire city of Blantyre. Um, at the moment, Blantyre Adventist Hospital is one of the prime uh, hospitals in Malawi. Yes, we are a mission hospital, but we operate like a private hospital here in Malawi. And we serve the whole community, especially in this rural, this uh, urban area of this uh, part of the country. And we are in Blantyre, surrounded by four hotels in the middle of the city. One of our inspired writers, Sister Ellen White, says, and I quote, health is the right hand pattern of the gospel, and true to her prophetic message, Blantyre Adventist Hospital has been very active in using the health message as a tool of evangelism. Evangelism is critical for us. We are evangelizing in Namuera right now. We are helping a community out there that comes here to get the treatment and it is making it easier for the church to enter that place in this case. So complicated cases are getting introduced here for free. We have built churches. Uh, in Chikwawa and, and also Mulanje. Very soon the hospital will be expanding its services and the open heart surgery will soon be opened and instead of referring patients outside the country, Blantyre Adventist Hospital will now be handling all these delicate procedures, a plus not just for the church in Malawi but the entire Southern Africa Indian Ocean Division. There are projects in the making. 
heart center, open heart center surgeries are going to take place here. You know, we are adding units for the hemodialysis, and so there are developments, unprecedented ones, which are taking place, and we are proud of this. We are moving forward. We are making Malawi proud and the church proud. The work taking place here in Blantai Adventist Hospital is a sure sign that God's hand is at play, and we give him all the praise and glory. For the Adventist News Network, this is Noel Spanda reporting from Blantai in Malawi. Launched in 2013, the game Heroes had its second version made reality in 2021. Today, the main biblical game app of the worldwide Seventh-day Adventist Church has reached 800,000 downloads. The milestone has been accompanied by a series of achievements throughout the years. One of them is the app's growing popularity among global users who have spent over 18 million minutes playing the game and have answered over 45 million trivia questions. The biblical question and answer application developed by Hope Channel and designed by Pastor Sam Nevis, Associate Director of the Adventist World Church's Communication Department, has also become popular because of its educational nature. In June 2022, Heroes partnered with the Museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C. Heroes also promoted an online tournament in Brazil in which app players gathered to compete for the possibility of playing in person on the TV show Special Edition featuring Heroes Bom de Biblia on TV Nomo Tempo. Get the app Heroes, the Bible trivia game on App Store or Google Play and be a true hero with Christ in the fight against sin. The 13th International Pathfinder Campery, organized by the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the Trans-European region, took place in Sopran, Hungary. Over 2,600 participants attended from all over the territory and beyond, demonstrating that the Pathfinder movement is global. As a result of the event, 255 individuals decided to follow Christ, 133 requested baptism, 77 want to study the Bible, and 16 were baptized. These life transformations were captured in exciting images of the baptism ceremony. Do you believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? And that the Bible is God's inspired word? Do you so believe? Do you believe that Jesus has forgiven all your sins and given you a new life? Do you commit to living your life together with Jesus? Thank you so much. The Miraflores Adventist School, located in the Peruvian capital, Lima, inaugurated its new infrastructure with a special program. The event included the presentation of the first Google Innovation Classroom, a modern and dynamic educational system that today is the first of its type installed in an Adventist school in Peru. After the remodeling stage, students, parents, teachers, and leaders of the Adventist Church participated in the inaugural ceremony of the new facilities. 
Adventist education, present in more than 150 countries, is characterized by promoting integral development, not only with academic knowledge, but also to ensure spiritual, physical, and social growth. The 28 fundamental beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church provide a foundation for the faith and practice of its members. In a video series produced by the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Frank Hazel, Associate Director at the Biblical Research Institute, Keldy Poroshki, PhD student in New Testament Studies, and special guests discuss each belief and work to answer key questions many ask about these statements. In the first fundamental belief, the Holy Scriptures, the theologians discuss some of the most common questions about the Bible, which is a foundation for the rest of the Adventist beliefs. So this is uh, interesting, I think, and it is significant that fundamental belief number one, the first fundamental belief of Seventh-day Adventists, start with the Bible, with Holy Scripture. So here's my question to both of you, John and Keldy. Seventh-day Adventists have traditionally called themselves to be people of the book of the Bible. And the first fundamental belief starts with Scripture, with the Bible. So my question to you is, why? Why is the Bible so important for Seventh-day Adventists? There are so many reasons. But one of them is that we understand the Bible to be the Word of God. So we believe that the Bible consists of writings that were revealed by God through special revelation and inspired by the Holy Spirit to help us to know God better. In the second fundamental belief, the Trinity, Frank Hazel and other biblical theologians provide biblical reasoning to help you develop a deeper understanding of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit so you can be blessed and understand God better. We're going to take a short break, and when we return, we will enjoy wonderful news of what God is doing through faithful Adventists around the world. Did you know sea turtles have a GPS in their heads? We think of the global positioning system as new, but since the creation, sea turtles have been using nature's GPS. When sea turtles are born, they leave their birth beach and swim thousands of miles in the trackless oceans. Along the way, they record their position using the angle of the Earth's magnetic field. When they're old enough to lay eggs, they return to their birth beach. Using the magnetic field data they recorded as juveniles, they make it back to the very beach where they were born. This sophisticated and accurate positioning system is more than mere coincidence. Sea turtles are an incredible testament to God's creative genius. What an amazing God! I'm Kenya Reyes from the Bible Help Desk Show. Weekly, we get to dive into the Word of God and see how He transformed so many lives in the past, but we know that He continues transforming lives today. If your life has been impacted by the power of God, we would love to hear your story. Give us a call at 833-BIBLE-HD, or you can email us at biblehelpdesk at hopetv.org. It's one thing to reach a goal, it's another thing to hang on to it. Would you like to form habits that last? I'm Vicki Griffin, host of Living Free. Join me for this exciting episode of Habits That Last and Situational Awareness. Chronic diseases such as heart disease, cancer, stroke, and diabetes are responsible for 7 of 10 deaths among Americans each year and account for 75% of the nation's health spending. Although sometimes related to economic, social, and physical factors, more often it's behaviors such as tobacco use, poor diet, physical inactivity, and alcohol abuse that lead to poor health and contribute to chronic disease. That's a fact. 
but there's hope. A focus on prevention in our families, churches, schools, and communities will not only improve the health of Americans, but also save a lot of money. A report from Trust for America's Health concluded that investing $10 per person per year in proven community-based programs that promote a healthier lifestyle could save the country more than $16 billion annually within five years. So let's live a longer and healthier life and save some cash. We love being members at Church in the Valley because Church in the Valley is involved in service where young people can get involved in various ways. We appreciate the fact that our church has a passionate focus on young people from adventurers to young adults, from pathfinders to youth, from Sabbath schools to acts of kindness. This is what Church in the Valley is about for us. And with all this, we see lives changed, people connecting with their Lord, and loving the mission of the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Through initiatives such as Impact Columbus and Media Ministries, Adventists in North America are making a positive impact on communities by spreading the message of salvation. Partnering with a local conference and 20 young pastors, a new generation of church leaders, Evangelist Bryant and the team blanketed the city of Columbus. This partnership of experienced and young pastors proves to be a powerful combination. Evangelist Bryant was able to mentor a young team of evangelists while witnessing to the city. More than 100 souls joined the church as a result of Impact Columbus. In 2023, the Division's Media Ministries continued to conduct special evangelism meetings and broadcast programs. Included among these is the Voice of Prophecy Spring Evangelism Series with Speaker Director Sean Boonstra in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. A new social messaging tool was launched at a pastor symposium with more than 2,000 ministers in Kabwifa, Papua New Guinea. Known as Hope VA, the new virtual assistant gives free Bible studies and health lessons in a conversational format through the social media platform, WhatsApp. According to the Adventist church leaders in the region, Hope VA can reach the population like never before. Hope VA will also become instrumental in providing free health education to people across the nation. Hope VA is a collaborative project that brings together many parts of the church for mission, built on technology developed at Novo Tempo, Brazil. Advent's mission brings a story from Latvia about the friendship between Anna and Emilio. While the girls share many interests, what truly makes their bond special is their love for Jesus. Have you ever met someone and really hit it off? The two of you had so many things in common that you immediately felt comfortable with each other? That's what happened to Anna. She immediately hit it off with Amelia when they met at a music school in Latvia. The two girls were almost the same age. Anna was 10 years old and Amelia was 11. They both liked music. That was why they were going to music school. Both girls were learning to play the piano. But it turned out that they both liked more than just playing the piano. Anna liked dogs and Amelia liked dogs. Anna liked gymnastics and Amelia liked gymnastics. The two girls had many common interests and they quickly became good friends. Now it so happened that Anna liked Pathfinders. Amelia, however, didn't know anything about Pathfinders. Anna had recently joined Pathfinders when she turned 10. She enjoyed singing, studying the Bible, and earning honor badges with other Pathfinders. She especially liked Pathfinder campouts. So when all the Pathfinders and adventurers in Latvia prepared for a camporee, Anna invited Amelia to go too. Amelia liked the camporee very much. She liked sleeping in a tent for a whole week. 
She liked singing and talking and participating in Bible skits every evening with 300 other children from the 23 Pathfinder and Adventurer Clubs in Latvia. Amelia especially liked sitting in front of a campfire. After evening worship, all the children built campfires with their clubs. Then the children sat around the flames and listened to mission stories. Amelia loved the mission stories. After the campery, Amelia liked Pathfinders just like Anna. Anna and Amelia became even closer friends. Then Anna invited Amelia to come to her house. The two girls began to get together there to study the Bible every Sunday with other children. In a year, the children managed to read through the entire book of Ruth and 1 Kings. Anna also invited Amelia to go to church with her on Sabbath. In church, the two girls played the piano together for special music. Anna especially liked playing a duet about Jesus being the sunbeam of the world. Anna and Amelia are looking forward to the next Pathfinder Campery. The Pathfinders are preparing a skit about Tabitha, the 12-year-old girl whom Jesus raised from the dead. Amelia will narrate the skit. She has a 10-year-old brother who also will go to the Campery. This will be his first. Yes, Anna and Amelia have a lot in common. They like the piano, dogs, gymnastics, pathfinders, camperees, the Bible, and playing special music. But now they have something even more important in common. They both love Jesus. I love Jesus and I love reading the Bible, Anna says. I am trying to share this truth with others. This week, our music highlight comes from the United Kingdom with Rebecca Johnson. Beams of heaven as I go Through this wilderness below She interprets Beams of Heaven aired at the 2022 General Conference Session. Rebecca is part of the Trans-European region of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Thank you for watching ANN. Join us next week for more news from the headquarters of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Did you know the Seventh-day Adventist Church has a YouTube channel where you can watch ANN video, ANN in depth, and plenty of other amazing videos on prophecy, health, and Bible study? Just go to YouTube and search for the Adventist Church. Make sure you click the subscribe button so you never miss a new video. And remember, leave a comment or a prayer request. We have a team dedicated to praying for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Before we say goodbye, we'll leave you with some good news from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. That's our program for this week. And remember, you can always visit Adventist.news for daily news and videos. Until next time, when we will have more news of faith, love, and hope. God bless.